Welcome developers, my name is Anju Chaudhary. Today we will discuss how to create a PDF from a SharePoint list. But before that hit the subscribe button, as we are very near to creating a family of 5k developers. Let's get started. Go to make.powerautomate.com. Here I clicked on skip to building your own flow. For now, I am creating a manual triggering flow later on we will change this to when the item is created in the SharePoint list. Let me rename my flow to SharePoint to PDF. Now for the second step I need to get items from SharePoint list. For this I am using get item SharePoint connector. Now as a site address, we have to enter the site where our list is located. And as a list name we have choose our list in my case I am choosing share to PDF. Now come to show advanced options. We need only one item, which is a recently added item. So what I'm doing is, I'm setting order by descending on ID and the top count equals to 1. Now in the next step, I will create a HTML table. For this I am using HTML create table data operation connector. It requires from where you want create your HTML table, I am using get items value. For the next step, I will give my table a proper structure. So I will give some styling to my table. For this, I will use compose data operation connector. And as input in compose, I will define CSS of my table. If you do not know CSS, then you can go to bootstrap.com and copy the any table CSS and paste it here. And for the next step, we need to create a file because then only we can convert that file into PDF. For that I am using OneDrive connector to create a file. Click on OneDrive for business then click on create file action. Now I am setting path to root, you can set it according to you. I am setting file name to file.html. And for the file content, I am setting the output of compose first, then the output of create HTML table, so that my flow will able identify the CSS of the table, then set the table according to CSS. Now in the next step, I will convert the HTML file into PDF. For this I will use convert file action of OneDrive connector. And set the file to the ID of the create file. So that it will able to identify the file, which file we want to convert. Now in the last step, we will create the converted file by using create file action. Now for the file path I am choosing it root. And for the name I am setting it as same as HTML file and for the content same as HTML file. These all steps which we followed till now can convert a SharePoint list into a PDF. Let's test our flow. Click on run flow. Wait while our flow is running. Our flow ran successfully. Let's check our PDF file, go to OneDrive and open it. As we can see there is only one record which is recently created. Now modify our flow to when item is created in a SharePoint list. Because of this outflow is converted from manually triggered flow to automatic triggered flow when item is created or modified. Let's test our flow. Now I have to create an item in SharePoint. Let's go to SharePoint. Click on New. And enter the fields. I am filling my details. Name is Anju, your beloved trainer. I am from Delhi, India. 
Currently working as a trainer in Coding Challenges YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe Coding Challenges here we solve all your doubts. I am also available for freelancing. I will give you my telegram link in description. Let's get back to our flow and check if it is work or not. Our flow ran successfully. Now let's check for the file. Open text lot HTML. Good we have my record here. That's all. If you have any doubt you can contact me.